Mr. Paniotti, uh, in your testimony, you said that the that the maintenance of effort by the states uh, was proving to be a challenge. Uh, how will DOT ensure that states are continue to use the Recovery Act's money that they're getting to supplement rather than use it uh, to supplant planned state expenditures that are going to be done anyway? Mm -hmm. Well, what we've done with the maintenance of effort, um, this is a provision that the state DOTs were not used to. So um, in their first response to providing the certification on the maintenance of effort, when we received those, we s received a variety of responses, some with contingencies on them and other qualifications that we did not feel complied with the law. Uh, the secretary made a determination to go back out and offer additional guidance to each of the states and a request for them to reevaluate and resubmit their certifications. We received um, conforming certifications back uh, from all but one state, and um, just recently we issued guidance to our state divisions to go and sit down with each of the state DOTs to review with the state how they computed the numbers that are in the certification to make sure we're comfortable with the computation. Uh, we will be getting uh, regular reports from each state on the maintenance of effort as the time goes by. And our goal is to ensure an equitable and level playing field, that when we get to the point of August redistribution in 2011, which is the, uh, it, the outcome, uh, that we're able to say whether a state has met their maintenance of effort or not, and determine whether they will share in that August redistribution or not. Very good. I appreciate you all. I, I know that you're working very, very hard to, uh, you know, to get the money out, uh, to make sure that it's spent in the appropriate way. In my district, I think in every member of district, every member's district. In fact, I think every elected fi official right now, every day that they get up, needs to uh, to think: How can I create jobs? How can I protect pension plans? Things like that. Uh, in the commission that was done. Uh, where people work so hard, the challenge was, you know, they, they told us that the average road project was eight to ten years, you know, something like that. So uh, I know that it's a tremendous challenge. In, in, your, in the start of your testimony, you talked about creating uh, or uh, saving jobs. How do you, how are you, right now the, the unemployment rate is continuing to creep and, and is it, uh, uh, you know, a very, very serious, serious situation. How do you differentiate? How are you, what is creating or saving mean? Right now our focus is just on getting people to work without, without really focusing on the differentiation. We're really focused on how many people are at work on federal aid highway projects. And so our, our, least, our most recent information, which was through May, indicated that in May we had 6,000 full-time equivalent jobs underway. That was represented a 400% increase over the data from March and April. And these are good paying jobs, $35 an hour average wage as compared to $15.50 in the general economy. But I think that the thing that really gives us um, comfort that a lot more are coming is the fact that we know we have 1,500 projects that are underway, right. that that's about a third of the money that's been obligated to date, and that'll create some 50,000 jobs and those jobs are going to be ramping up very quickly as we get in deeper into the summer months and construction on those projects ramps up even more. Good. Thank you. One more thing, Mr. Babbitt. The, uh, um, the recovery bill provided FAA with $2 million to hire additional staff to award grants and provide grant oversight. How is that going? Uh, have you spent the money? Have we, got, have we ramped up in that regard? Or? Yes, sir. We, uh, I can get you greater detail, but we have begun deploying that. We're, we're looking at uh, several things, one of which is uh, some, you know, there's some sophisticated ways that you can look at higher risk projects and, uh, you know, analyze that risk for better oversight. And so that's where we put some of the money. Uh, my understanding is we have about half of it uh, engaged already and uh, looking to, to deploy the rest of it uh, as these projects go forward. But I can get you very detailed information on uh, the exact projects and the exact allocations. Good. That would be helpful. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Bozeman, uh, your, your question about jobs created, jobs saved, uh, that is a, uh, a, uh, an accounting 
that we will specifically receive in the next 30-day report. Uh, we, we thought that uh, initially that in this in this second report that uh, the various uh, modal administrations would be able to report on on those job figures, but it turned out to be a little more uh, difficult to gather the information because of the lag time uh, in in reporting in. But uh, this little flash drive is now uh, at work. The information will be available, and in our uh, July uh, hearing, we will get those figures, and we'll make sure that that, that your your point, which is also my uh, concern, is 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 adequately answered. Very good, Mr. Chairman. I think that is a is is a challenge, you know, to get good information in that regard. And then the other challenge is, as I ask to make sure that the, the projects that are being done are not projects that would have already been slated to get done, but are additional projects. Uh, the Recovery uh, Act language from our committee was very specific that the uh, Recovery Act funds, which are 100 percent funding, should be in addition to the program of projects the states had committed to undertake uh, prior to enactment of the Recovery Act. Uh, we uh, uh, surveyed all state DOTs in uh, December and again in January, uh, December of 08 and, and January of this year uh, for a listing of projects that the state DOT said would meet the qualification design, engineered, EIS completed, right of way acquired, down to final design and engineering and all that's lacking is the money. And they gave us, a, through Ashto, gave our committee shared on both sides, that information. Then we said, all right, now, the governor must sign off on two documents. The document of the program of projects to be carried out under the 80-20 program, and the program of projects to be carried out under the 100% Recovery Act funds. And the same with the transit agencies. Because we don't want job substitution. We don't want project substitutions. This is going to be net new jobs created. And, uh, and, and, and in our reporting, we are we're watching very carefully to, and we'll have more complete information or more advanced information in our next reporting period. But we are very alert to that uh, issue. And we also want to know, and I've heard from some members, that there are some states in which the projects aren't being equitably distributed. We want to know that as well. Thank you. Um, Mr. Michaud, Mr.